Now have a look at this, the Razer Tommyhawk Mini ITX. This is Razer's new ITX case and look how small it is. I mean, you might be thinking, what is that random Alienware doing there? Well, that is one of Alienware's most compact sort of, you know, gaming rigs. And I'm going to show you a whole new level of compactness. Now these aren't competing devices, they're completely different. One is DIY and the Alienware is a pre-built. But when you see what you have to do on this Alienware to make it that compact, and you're gonna see how small this Tomahawk is from Razer, wow, you're gonna be amazed. So let's unbox it, let's have a look. But first, I just wanna show you what had to be done on the Alienware to make it that compact. Now this is the Alienware Aura. Now, when it comes to ITXs, you know, they're all the rage now, but look what they had to do with this. Look at that. To make this so compact, oh, it's turning around there. But look, you can see what they had to do to make this very compact like this. And we're going to even go smaller than this. And yes, there is some wasted sort of space up there, up here and down there. But now we're going to unbox the Razer Tomahawk Mini ITX and we'll see how good it looks and how small it is and how compact it is. Right, so... Are we ready to go next level compactness? And look at it, it looks pretty cool. We've got the RGB underglow. And let's have a look at its tech specifications first. I guess you can read here. So yes, it is an ITX, motherboard type, mini ITX, mini DTX, ABS plastic, tinted tempered glass, CPU cooler height, maximum 165 millimeters, maximum with 320 millimeters. And that's the graphics card length, of course, that's 32 centimeters. Expansion slot three, removable 120 millimeter filter. Now for ports, we have USB type A, gen one, two USB-Cs, so that's good, you want USB-C. We have the audio in and out there, so that's awesome. And it weighs approximately 5.8 kilos, that's 12.8 pounds. Dimensions are 206 millimeters by 321 millimeters by 367 millimeters, which is 8.1 inches by 12.7 inches by 14.5 inches. So, wolf, there we go. Now let's have a look at it. So, what I want to know from you guys is, what system do you want put in here? Do you want AMD? Do you want Intel? Do you want Nvidia? Which way should I go there? We have the literature here. You got your bibs and bobs that come with the case there. And that's about it. And now we just pull the unit out. Oh, there we have it there. Which way are we going? Ooh. It's quite easy to pick up one hand there. So let's finish this. Let's take that off. Protective casing. And there's probably some more bibs and bobs inside. Voila. There we have it. Oh, I don't want to touch that tempered glass, but look at that. That is nice, isn't it? So these sort of flip out. There you go. Flip out like that. Pretty simple, isn't it? And how compact is this thing? Wow! How compact is it? Look at the top there. That's, I guess, where you put the radiator and that. You have your connections there. You know, USB Type-C, audio in and out, power button, reset button, of course. Some more USB Type-A. Green, of course, there. Tempered glass on both sides. Nice. That is nice. Oh, this is so good that it does that. And there's the back there where you do your cable management. But how good is that? How simple is that? How nice is that? Right? That's what you want. We look on the front there, of course. Let's have a quick look at the back. And as you can see, you've got three PCI slots there. And that's where obviously you have a fan and your, you know, IO goes there. Now what I like about this is, look, your integrated power there. It doesn't have a power supply, of course, but that power outlet there or that power jack will go into that. And you put that into your power supply there. So this is cool. We'll have a quick look inside. Okay, so let's have a quick look inside here. Now I did tell you it does have that power sort of jack on the back, of course it does not have a power supply. We open her up and 
that's where you'd get your power from there. Obviously that's connected to that thing at the back. We'll just back up here. I guess this is where you probably put the power supply. And yeah, we have some, you know, we have a fan at the front there. Oh, there you go. Front just pops off there. That's pretty cool. You can get access to that fan. You know, there's a bit of a connector here to make sure the Razer logo lights up, I guess. That's pretty nice, pretty simple. I like that. And they're all your motherboard connectors there, your HD audio, all the, you know, pins, all the power resets, which all your usual stuff you get on the motherboard, you know, power switch here. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, pretty standard fare there. So there's no real room at the front for a radiator. I guess, you know, you've got a choice here of what you put here, or you can go up the top there and put, you know, fans or maybe a radiator, or we'll have to see. We'll soon find out. And now have a look at that. How much smaller is it? Of course you have to use, you know, your mini ITX boards, your SFX sort of power supplies or FSXL, but now you're getting a real idea of how small this thing is. So now what I want to know from you guys is, what do you want inside this? I'm going to leave this in capable hands of a custom PC builder and he's going to build, well, what system do you want? AMD, Intel, whatever. We'll get him to build that. He says it's pretty much not appropriate to do, you know, hardline water cooling in this sort of thing. Just, yeah, why would you? But um, we'll see what happens when he, you know, puts it together. Can't wait. Make sure you subscribe to see it.